talking about a for uh, a solo player, right? You know, and I feel like a solo player, what a solo player needs is two ships, one general purpose ship and one career based ship. What do you think about so, that? So when you say general purpose compared to career based, are we talking, what are you talking about? Like if they were a cargo trader and they needed an A2, I mean a C2 mm -hmm. and a, as their business purpose and then mm -hmm. uh, go ahead and elaborate on that. So, so like a general purpose career base will be whether if you, if you want to do trading, a C2 is, is an example or um, a, a prospector. If you want to get into mining a vulture if you want to get into salvaging okay so that's that's a career based ship and then a general purpose ship will be like let's say for example an msr or uh um, cuddy black a cuddy black a constellation you know something that they could get together with their friends or you meet people if you want to do some multi-crewing or you know some that you could do everything with but your career ship is your money making Oh, well, in that case, because solo playing is right up my alley, mm -hmm. um, I would say as far as a multi-purpose, I mean, you got the C2, of course, the 600i, mm -hmm. Corsair, the uh, <laughs> Constellations, they all work and they can you can solo pilot them mm -hmm. by yourself if you don't have anybody along and you can do your cargo runs, you can do your bounty missions, you can do mm -hmm. pretty much everything, deliveries. So it works okay. in, the, in all those aspects. Okay. Yes, you're, you're absolutely right. The the C2, the the, the 600i, these, these general purpose ships. So don't, when I think about a solo player, right, I'm thinking about a brand new player, right? So we also need to consider, let's say a new guy that's just getting in, right? If you're talking about a 600i, like he's checking out a 600i right now, like, damn, yeah. I got to spend $500. So then we you know, would have to say a Cuddy Black would be your a all Cuddy around. Black. Right, all right, right. All right, let me get that. A, a Cuddy Black, okay. And then... Um, the uh, Freelancer is another one. Freelancer, okay, okay. I mean, okay. because you can, uh, like you said, you can bounty hunt, you can uh, cargo trade, mm -hmm. you can do your missions, you can do pretty much everything in them. You can haul right. other vehicles, certain vehicles. Right, 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 right. That is true. Freelance, let me get it right here. So, as a solo player, I I definitely agree with this. Um, so we get we get in a, a a cutty black and a freelancer for a solo player, guys. All right. So if you're new, if you're new to to Star Citizen, a cutty black is a solid ship that will allow you to do everything in the game, as well not everything, but most things. And then a freelancer is also a solid vehicle that will get you started so what, what, what would you say um inbox um let's say if they can't you know they can't afford a cutty or they can't afford you know they're getting in with the 45 dollars. what do you think would be a good option for somebody brand new getting in well if the aurora would be their only option i mean i think the aurora holds like what one or two scu of okay. cargo I mean, other than that, you can move your way up to the, uh, what, the Titan. And um, Titan. I think that's what okay. they call it. Yeah, the Titan. That's a solid ship. Yeah, okay. that's a solid one. But you're asking $75 on that one, 60 to $70. Okay. But for $45, I would just think the Aurora would probably be their best option. I mean, right. you still can dogfight in it. You still right. can do delivery missions. Do right. a cargo run if you want to do a drug mission, if that's what you're in. You right. still can do that too. So it's all around. Okay, so the Aurora, we got the Avenger. I'm thinking also a solid one could be a 100i. A 100 I forgot I about think. those. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, that's a good one. Um, it's yeah. pretty fast. Has a quantum drive, and then also your one that you guys love was the uh, Nomad. How much? Oh. Is that one? <laughs> The Nomad is pretty good. That one is a solid. It's a solid. Where is this thing? Um, what is that? A, what is that? A, is it a, a mist? The Consolidated I don't know Outlands, who makes eh? Consolidated I don't know Outlands. who makes it. I think it is Consolidated Outlands. 
where is the no map there we go all right so let's let's render this in all right so your general purpose ships guys if you're brand new to star citizen these are the ships that i think we think you guys should consider an, an aurora hold on, a 100i an avenger titan or if you want premium you're looking at a, a nomad a consolidated outland nomad can i put the names on this there we go all right so these are your two uh, these are your options so as a solo player guys you need a general purpose ship you need a career based ship right so career base you can select um your your prospector if you want to do mining if you want to if you want to do salvaging that's going to be your your, your vulture if you want to do um trading i guess a hall a um a hall a even your cuddy a cuddy could be decent with that or a freelancer you know um and what else what else what else what else what's what's the other careers i think i think there's a little there's bounty one. hunter is a career bounty I mean, hunter you can, right yeah so right. in that case that's when the uh the titan the misc uh, right. no yeah the titan the freelancer and the cuddy would work in your favor if that's where right. if you're just starting out right 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 okay yeah so these are solid options for, for solo players, but let's just, I'm the